All right, so we should be recording now. Welcome to the Monday, <clears throat> February 27th meeting of the Communications Working Group. Put your name on the agenda if you so wish to do. Um, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to say the this where we're actually um, currently using now was a template. So we're meant to copy the template and paste it below to make it easy. Yes. So um that's Vinian, like this one. This one. No, I mean on the meeting minute. Oh yeah. This one is a template. So Venia developed this so we can just be copying and repasting. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this would be um Monday, February 27th. Presumably, although we'd probably move, want to move to a little template. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I think there's already a session for today. I'm seeing. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I was just cleaning up. February what I, the mess, what I love mess up there. So I haven't been to uh, this meeting in the recent past. Um, but so I suppose calibration looks like it was, uh, if either of you feel like you could facilitate this, it might be better than me facilitating it. <laughs> um, so calibration, it looks like we're reviewing this spreadsheet. Does that sound right? Um, yes. Yeah, so um, the last time Fania was talking about um, looking for a way to make the spreadsheet a lot more accessible and mm -hmm. understandable to a lot of persons, because um, so many persons currently don't use the spreadsheet as it is. So I think that's where we talked about using WordPress um, sitemap to help make it a lot better. Okay. Um, so that, okay, so um, it looks like the so the calibration. So That's in place of what's in the spreadsheet. content ideas that got discussed. Who do, do we know who owns the action item of looking at the site map in our WordPress? Um, Venia is actually taking that up. Who? Venia. Oh, Venia, okay. Um, constant ideas last time. Looks like the um, Chaos Sustainability Forum. 
I have I have lost track of how the podcast is working and being coordinated. Do we know? I have no idea. <laughs> I know Elizabeth was doing it for a time, and I think then this committee kind of took it over. But and I think you're moving, perhaps. Is uh, I'm not sure. These are podcast ideas from last time. Uh, do you remember? Are there any? Was there? Was there? Uh, was anybody taking an action item on? This uh, <clears throat> was there an action out of the four chaos people going to the state of sustainability forum um, just to talk about it somehow? I'm not hearing um, anybody. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this particular item, um, I think um, we're looking for persons that would participate in the chaos. Um, the conference in San Francisco and it's supposed to be like a panel section where we talk about what we're doing in chaos and um, from that the idea was to bring you know, leaders from each of the individual teams to come and um, throw more light on what is going on in the chaos community and how we're handling all of the metrics and all I think that was what this conversation was all about Okay. So we're actually looking for persons that would participate, the members to participate in the panel section for this. Like a panel podcast? Um, yeah, but for the conference itself. Ah, okay. For the OSSA conference? Yes. I mean, Matt and Sophia and myself, and I, I don't remember who the fourth is that's going to be there. Maybe Elizabeth? We could Maybe. ask her. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can ask. Um, let's see. I can go look. I can look at that form if I need to. Um, so these are this request for podcast episodes. This is just a, a general request being sent out. Um, not nominally is who's coordinating the podcast recordings and stuff you now. Yeah, for the podcast, I, I, I don't think there's someone that's leading that right now. That's that's why this wasn't assigned yet, because um, since we hit hundred badges, we wanted to also like throw more light on this as in form of a podcast. But because there's there's not so much going on with the podcast, there was no one to assign this to. Okay. So maybe for the general meeting. Um... Or when uh, some of the regular folks are here, I we could talk about uh, what is the future of the podcast. Yeah, well, we could also um, drop it in the chat afterwards, so people could drop their. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, so um, 
and we're not doing GSOC this year. I don't know if that decision had been made um, at the time of the last meeting, whatever that was. Yes. Yeah, so um, for the GSOC, we um, decided that um, would interview the participants for the last GSOC. But oh, okay. yes, for the podcast. But the reason why we left it till summer is we want to give them enough time to complete their projects so they can yeah. come and show, um, share about it for the podcast, which will be like during, by the end of summer. So we're, for this summer, we are not doing it. So it would be for end of previous summers and we could do it anytime. Yeah. Usually I can strike through something, <laughs> but apparently I don't have the, like, either Google moved something or I can't find something I don't use that often on Google. Let's make a comment. Yeah, I think a podcast about the hundred badges would be good, but I'll leave that to the question. Okay, I think um for this next one, there's mm -hmm. supposed to be like um, a social media post about the hundred badge award. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I think that was on the spreadsheet already. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have the design ready, I think. Still oh, deliberating cool. though. How close are we? Uh, and for the podcast, um, I think Vinia wanted to like handle that. Uh, the podcast as regards to the um, 100 year badges awarded. Okay. Yeah, it was her idea. All right. Yeah. Makes it easy. And then I, I guess this committee is responsible for the chaos con registration form, which I know Georg has done for us for the last uh, forever time. So um, we should probably just. Uh, Okay. Um, anything else uh, you think we should cover here today? So for the AI generated content, how do we know the word generated to read AI? Oh, uh, chat GP generated content? Well, that's a question for the question for the ages my view uh do we ex i mean we could be we could pro be provided chat gpt content without ever knowing about it um and so so i guess uh assumption 
use of chat GPT is acknowledged, then I, I mean, I don't know what you all, I think if they acknowledge it, uh, uh, I guess, I guess you want to probably request a percentage. <laughs> Hmm. So, um, I think my next question would be, are, are we saying um, AI-generated contents are not allowed, like we're not accepting it, is that? I don't know, I wasn't at the last meeting. Um, I think it's, uh, I, I, think, I think realistically, our choices are to have a policy of not accepting it and then just people will in over time likely still use it and the likelihood that we'll ever know that is low um <laughs> if we uh, request an acknowledgement of the use of in description of the use of chat gpt then uh, you know people don't have to like fail to disclose that they use it um i don't know probably the best defensive answer would be we don't accept it but if we i mean if we say that we will still get it we will probably know yeah i i feel like it's um almost almost impossible to not have someone um use a bit of um ai to generate content yeah. So, um, for most projects that I have seen, you'd always, um, at the end of the article, especially if it is generated by AI, you write at the bottom of the article that this content was generated by AI specifically, just so mm -hmm. everyone has an idea of it. Yeah. But if, yes. So, like that differentiates normal um, articles that are written normally from articles that are generated. I mean, I. I think that kind of acknowledgement that seems like the most realistic stance because it, uh, it, it I mean, from what I've seen in chat GPT, it, it does a decent job of gathering all of the, all, the already known information and whatever the blog post is about that is likely to contain something chat GP hasn't harvested yet. So, um, I guess acknowledging chat GPT at least I mean, at least doesn't push people underground, I suppose, is the argument. But to, to, and I think that it sounds like you're kind of on the same, at the same place, Anita. So Georg said he um, he plans on resuming the um, broadcast when he moves to a new apartment. So <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's on the hood. It's on the hood. All right. So do we have any action items for this meeting? Uh, right now, nobody has any action items. Uh, Partly that's because I haven't come to this meeting regularly. Um, yeah, that, that reminds me. I think I this is a very important question. I, I think it's important because I want to really know. I asked on the discourse um, group. Yeah. I, I, I did have your chat here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe find time to like retro. You said, uh, 
So what else should we say about GPT? Yeah, I think this is cool. But the, the real question would be how many people are willing to say <laughs> it was written by Chat GTP <laughs> for Chat GPT. I mean, those are the those are the two options. We either accept it or that we say that we don't accept it, and we're still probably going to get some. So, yeah. I have another meeting at the top of the hour, so I, I don't think there's any action items for the people here right now, unless somebody wants to pick up the podcast while Georg is moving. All right, so I will see you all later. Yeah. Bye. Bye.